Imagine working with people from different cultures and different countries towards one mutual goal. This is ESA, the European Space Agency. Brand new since uh, last year, November. Hope to get more uh, concrete ideas about what is being done and how things are organized. I work for the facility management department and I work there as the mechanical engineer. Uh, while we don't think that we can give you a full picture of this complex agency now in this short period of time, we still think that we can give you a better idea. Uh, and that's what we are trying uh, in those next days, together with many colleagues from ESA, um, who will try to share with you their understanding and their perspectives on the agency. I worked already in, uh, before in the European context, uh, I worked for the European institutions. Uh, I'm a new staff, uh, I'm not a newcomer. Looking forward to meeting people from all across the agency and learning a bit more about uh, what the agency is and what responsibilities I have towards it. So. <laughs> I never had the chance to actually see the EAC site here in Cologne, so this is definitely a big uh, thing for me. In the middle part of uh, the spacecraft. But there were cables going around, they couldn't see where the cables were attached, they tried to close the hatch. This agency will be what you want to make of it, you are the future of the agency, and uh, it's really in, in your hands, and uh, I can say that from myself in, in my past uh, 13 years, I've been able to do small things left and right. Even when I was very young in the, in the agency, I was able to do a small project here or to come up with ideas there and to change it. And this is everything which is uh, ahead of you. Imagine discovering new planets where one day we could live. Imagine finding new resources to develop sustainable energy. We do it all. We are doing applications that is navigation, telecom, earth observation, meteorology. We're doing science. We're doing earth observation science. We're doing things that weigh 700 tons like Ariane 5, but we're also doing uh, CubeSats with the Estonians and Proba-V that weighs 140 kilos. So we are running the gamut of all possible projects in space. Yeah. In fact, that is one of the part that if it goes wrong, it, it does require an emergency spacewalk on the space station because you cannot do anything. Imagine exploring the universe and understanding where we live. Imagine predicting natural disasters and warn the people before it's too late. As ESA ambassadors, imagine yourself with somebody who would ask you this simple question. What is ESA? You have 45 minutes to prepare a pitch this speech needs to be recorded by video. And please. So, the best thing I can do to tell you about ESA is to tell you about what happens when I walk through the gate in the morning, when I come to work every day. ESA makes us realize both in space and on Earth that we are one planet and one European continent. First, I want to pose you a question. What is space for you? And they all come from so many different backgrounds, cultures, diversities. And by bringing those together, we make a sum and something which is bigger than the individual parts. All this is possible because there is an international team of highly skilled people who bring together their efforts and, and their expertise to develop the necessary technologies. Imagine finding new resources to develop sustainable energy. Imagine understanding the sun and our solar system. Imagine sending a woman or a man to space. Imagine we make Europe happen. We live it every day.
Imagine we do something which is bigger than the individual parts. 